This is Fox 9 Good Day. Welcome back here on this Thursday. Wedding bells are ringing all summer long for a lot of couples. And each couple has their own unique style when they're walking down the aisle. And this morning we're checking in on some of the latest trends. Matthew Treadle is here from The Wedding Guys and we're talking trends, decor, kind of all the things. Um, we love the setup that you brought in, but let's start with the current trends. What are you seeing for summer and fall? So right now, kind of the, uh, that European elegance is a really huge design statement. Um, I think people are still in love with Bridgerton and kind of that <laughs> sure. opulent look. Um, and so also, um, I think that really ushered in this use of lots of pastels. Um, which has been fun to kind of see. And it's kind of a juxtaposition because um, we're seeing beautiful patterns played with that. Um, we have like uh, beautiful flowers lend right into that. Um, so thinking something that's very European, loose, um, lots of different flowers. This is actually by Ashley Skye and it is absolutely gorgeous. Renoculus, you have um, beautiful delphinium in there. Um, one of my favorites, peonies, but combined with roses. It's just such a cluster. It's like you went to your English garden and picked the most beautiful blooms. Um, and it really, really creates something beautiful. Um, sweet peas in there too, it's which fun. is pretty. It's fun to see. It's basically a, an explosion of color with yeah. the, with the the flowers, the the candles, the the table. You know, like this is kind of a, a shift. It used to be the, monochromatic. The, yes, yeah. Everything exactly. was the same, and now everything is bold and bright yeah. and fun, and you can mix and match. Um, we have some really fun um, stationary elements and. People are really thinking beyond the invitation um, mm -hmm. for stationery. So these are beautiful Eliza Grace papery um, invitations. Look at how the little wax seal oh, wow. um, holds on the, um, the place card, yeah. the name card, sure. um, which is really great. And there's a beautiful printed vellum on this oh. as a layer. And then the menu is actually underneath. And then it's all kind of bound with a, a tie, which is really great. Um, the other thing that has really changed, um, table linens. Um, yeah. There's so many options now. These are actually from um, Haven and Gather. Um, they have over 900 options, <laughs> which is insane. Whoa. So you can find anything um, that you would want for your wedding. They also do these amazing chargers. Look at this. That's pretty. Oh, wow. It's just beautiful. That's, and and again, it's, right a, it's about layering. So look at how beautiful the menu looks um, with the, yeah. that color palette. So it's really about thinking about all of the details and then bringing it into more simple dinnerware, but then beautiful glassware from a prey party and tent rental. Mm -hmm. um, look at the beautiful pink. Yeah, there's a, a, pin, uh -huh. a pink hue to it, if you can see that at home. Uh, you mentioned um, the paper, the, the menu, and the place cards. It's interesting, too, that you know, we're such in a digital age. We're now having some invites that are just, you know, RSVP and an invite to a wedding. Yeah. But that paper, that hard it makes paper, it really it's still, special. That's still yeah. a thing. Yeah, okay. people really love that, and especially um, at the wedding itself. There's so many different um, options to, to use creative um, design mm -hmm. with the menus. Um, table numbers, too, um, which is really fun. Cute. But we're also seeing a lot of signage. Um, which is really fun. So large stand-up signs that um, maybe denote things that are happening at the wedding, the course of the day, um, which is really fun as well. Yeah. So I've we're looking at this and we're seeing like a million colors here. Are people kind of going away from like, these are our two colors and does that translate to like bridesmaids dresses? And So it, it does. Um, we're still seeing most people are choosing kind of a palette for their bridesmaids sure. dresses. So it probably isn't going to be kind of the rainbow wedding mm -hmm. um, that was popular in um, the 70s. Um, <laughs> but um, a lot of times they're selecting kind of within maybe a more muted palette um, and then allowing the bridesmaids to select dresses that um, maybe fit their body type better. So as opposed to just one style of dress, we're seeing a lot of different dresses. Sure. A lot of times they're just in one color. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. to, you know, just not only do you have the different colors in the candles, but different shapes. Yeah. Too. So really, so it's all I mean, about like, it's all about texture yeah. and creating kind of that um, level of sophistication. Kind of think about the table like when you look at beautiful magazines. Well, <laughs> yeah. if people actually did yeah. that anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so thinking about um, kind of that Instagrammable um, kind of moment and all of those kind of details that kind of get come together. Oh, I loved having all the wedding I, magazines I know. This back is in one the of day. those bouquets when they're like, feel free to take one with you. And a lot of people are like, eh. I'd be like, oh, yes, yep, please. Yeah, <laughs> they would fight over that. Exactly. OK, one new trend we're hearing about, too. What is happening? OK, <laughs> that doesn't look new, though. What's the story? Uh, so this itself um, is a classic phone, but it's designed as a guest book. So there's a concept called um, FET phone, um, and they provide a phone where your guests listen to a pre-recorded message from the couple, okay. and then they're able to leave their own message for the couple. So as opposed to writing something in a guest book, they're gonna get an audio huh. 
Do they get this little, like Greetings. an SD card or something, which seems wrong too with that pretty phone? Or do you have to listen to it through the phone? So no. Nope. So um, basically, they will translate it into either a digital file, or they can put it on vinyl. Oh, so, of so they the, can. Oh, okay. Those Goodness. vinyl enthusiasts, yeah. yes. So then um, you know you can have uh, kind of that. Oh, that's fun. Piece as well. So that's it's kind different. of up for the couple. But yeah, super fun and more interactive than people standing and just writing, you know, their best wishes. We were talking about the the, the best wishes at, you know, an 8 p.m. versus maybe a <laughs> Yes, I bet on the phone at midnight <laughs> yeah. we're going to get a lot more fun, <laughs> right? messages are going to get real interesting by that point. Careful with yeah. what you say, right? Yeah. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah. All right, Matthew, as always, thank you for being here. Good Thanks stuff. Thanks for having me. All right. More information, head to theweddingguys.com.